Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm featuring an illustration by Rochelle Anna Miller and I have some lovely news to share with you for this month. So I'm using this illustrated stamp by Rochelle Anna Miller for my favorite things and this stamp is called Cuteness Overload. Now I'm going to combine it with a pattern paper. I already added it to a slimline card base just to avoid some time. And then I took the frame worthy slimline die by Crafty Meraki, cut it out of Nina, and then I added some vellum behind. Now about the wonderful news that I have for you uh, this month, so the month of June, uh, this image, you know it as cuteness overload at my favorite things, you know it as Bear and Bunny at Rochelle Anna Miller's site. Now as you know, Rochelle Anna Miller has digital stamps which are images that you can purchase at her site and then uh, she sent them to you and then you can print them and use your mediums um, to color it in as well. So just if you like digital stamps, um, then this one is called Bear and Bunny by Rochelle Anna Miller. Um, and this one is the featured image of this month. So that means that if you buy this digital stamp at her shop, uh, then you will get 50% off this month only. So that's something that I wanted to share with you. Uh, I hadn't used this clear stamp, so I decided to use this, but maybe you don't have a clear stamp, maybe you prefer digital stamps. Um, then this is great news for you, I think, because this image is adorable. Also, I have said it previously, digital stamps, it's something that is a bit out of my comfort zone, but recently I joined the design team. From Rochelle Ann Miller. I was honored that she asked me because I loved her images by my favorite things and um, I don't have a fancy laser printer as I thought I needed to do digital stamps. So just wanted to get that out. Um, if you want to do digitals because there are a lot of stamps that aren't clear uh, and are available and are adorable. Um, if you want to do some copy coloring or with your alcohol markers, I don't have any issues using my in inkjet printer. Um, so just so you know, not every brand is as good. Apparently I have an HP um, inkjet, uh, but that works for Copic markers. Watercoloring isn't an option with that kind of printer, therefore you need laser. Uh, but laser normally works for everything. That being said, Another advantage that I have experienced since I'm on the design team and I have been experimenting a bit more with digital stamps is that you have this advantage that you can um, enlarge the images as much as you want or you can make them smaller if needed. I have had some images that I thought, okay, these I want on slimline cards, uh, but if you would have them in a clear stamp, then you are stuck with the size of the stamp. So if you're contemplating why would that be handy or anything like that, well, you can choose sizes for for first thing. Um, another thing is, of course, that again, there are so many cute illustrators that only have digital stamps. Um, I personally am going to limit myself. To Rochelle Anna Miller's um, <laughs> because I'm also just with an inkjet printer so I'm limited to only using alcohol markers currently or pencils uh, but I'm not that good in pencils um, <laughs> so I'm not going to do digitals all the time um, but I'm also doing them lately uh, and if you are curious to some inspiration uh, for Rochelle Anna Miller I am doing videos on her YouTube channel. I'm trying to share that on my community. You have on YouTube also the possibilities to share some posts like Facebook or Instagram. So there I'm trying to share it with you whenever I have a video on there so that you don't miss out on anything because I'm not going to um, create twice the same video or do voiceovers for the same video. <laughs> just, to, just to save up some time for myself as well. Um, so I'm hoping that you will hop along on those videos as well, as well as on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. There I'm also um, really active 
also sharing that in the community so that you don't need to miss anything um, but just so you know also here I'm using the matching dies that's one disadvantage I personally find on doing digitals you don't have the dies but at the same time there are so many people that aren't using dies and have a machine or just like the fussy cut or all those things uh, so you can work your way around that and then for example me what I do when I use digital stamps is that I also print the same image the same size on some masking paper and I just have that aside for when I want to in blend and then I can mask my image off so that's an option as well that I am showing on the YouTube channel over there at um, Rochelle Anna Miller's so just so you know this stamp this one is the clear I know but if you're interested in digitals and you don't have this image yet, this image in June is now the featured image of the month. So you get 50% off when you buy this image. Just so you know if you're interested. I will link to Rochelle's Anna Miller's website um, in the description box. Just easy for you to find if you're interested. Um, I'm just leaving it there uh, for you um, so that you can quickly find it yeah just for help um, and well I just love these illustrations so I am really honored to be in the design team and well it will not prevent me from buying clear stamps from my favorite things of course not every digital stamp is a clear one and the other way around um, so I think there are lots of options but I love these illustrations so I am excited I also love this image it's one of my favorites that I bought so far in clear stems from my favorite things um, so I think it's it's amazing that it's now 50% off in the digital version for you if you want to so back to the card the image is die cut this is sort of the layout that I want and I decided for the sentiment to have forever I don't know it can be forever friends or um, forever together or I will hug you forever but I'm leaving the options open about what it is forever because personally I made it with the idea of friendship but I think uh, just this word and the image it says enough you don't have to add uh, another word or a bigger sentiment I think um, you can always there is enough space if you make a slimline like me um, but I just thought it was powerful enough like this. I also contemplated about using colors for the forever uh, but ended up with the mushroom to have all neutrals uh, going on also in the pattern paper. I thought that was nice uh, and then I could add some color with my embellishments. But that's for later. So here I'm checking again if the forever is aligned straight and then I'm going to use some foam to add be behind the frame as well as the images as well as the word. Um, not having it behind the vellum itself so that it won't be visible. But just I'm adding it everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Just to make it a bit sturdier. Um, you don't need to add it all over like I did. But I just prefer doing that to... Well, while mailing to prevent it from bulking or being um, yeah, ruined by all the posts that is going through the machines and all those things. So I'm adding that as straight as possible. And then it's time for those embellishments that I talked about. So I'm going to add some red hearts. These are the Trinity Stamps Heart Sprinkle Mix Sweden Tart. I love these hearts. Um, a lot of brands are selling them um, I just think they are adorable these clay hearts and once I'm happy with placement I am going to use some liquid glue and add them permanently on top of this uh, card so it was a bit of contemplating how to place everything but in the end I figured it out and um, I could just start adding everything So once they're on there, I'm just going to add a little bit of glossy accents 
um, to the noses of these adorable critters. And I, then I will stop with adding anything more. I also contemplated about adding glossy only forever and I think it would work. But just to keep it as simple as possible, as this design is very simple, I decided to leave it out. So that's it. That's my card. I truly hope that you love it as much as I do. Again, if you want to buy the digital stamp at 50% off, it's just for this month of June. I am linking towards her shop. I hope that you had an amazing day so far and that the rest of your day is fabulous as well. I wish you all the best. See you soon. Bye!